Good morning, everyone. It is 0633 New York local time, and in this ICT Basics video, I want to go over how you can incorporate uh, higher time frame inefficiencies and liquidity um, and incorporate them with uh, lower time frame entries. So, anything really 30 minutes and above, sometimes I'll even include a 15 minute. I would, I would. <clears throat> look at as a higher time frame. So one of the things that Michael teaches is that you're not going to be able to see all the inefficiencies as you scroll through the time as you scroll through the time frame. So for example, you can see this daily busy down here. If you go down to the four hour, it doesn't look like it's a in an in inefficiency. But if you're on the daily, you can pretty clearly see that busy. So what you have to do is you have to draw a rectangle. Um, and so what I will do is I will go through my time time frames and then uh, mark out the inefficiencies as you can see here and also at least like two liquidity points so this will give you an idea of where price is drawing on a higher time frame and when price is working right in that higher time frame level so what you want to do with this is then go down to your 15 minute and down to your lower time frames and wherever it appears that price is drawing whether it's to sell side liquidity <coughs> To an inefficiency or wherever it appears that price is drawing you can use one of your entry multipliers so for example we see uh, an order block and if you entered here at the order block and then targeted that 30 minute SIBI uh, you had a pretty decent 35 point trade there so midpoint of that uh, bullish order block price came back down to it and then went back up into this 30 minute sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency so what I like to do is, as you can see here, I will mark out SIBI, 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 one hour, 30 minute, whatever time that I saw it on. Um, and then I've also got a new day opening gap here. And then on the one hour time frame, I've marked out sell side liquidity and then buy side liquidity as well. And I've also got two daily BISIs which are sitting below price. So that is basically all the draws you don't want to have so many drawings on your chart that it's like a cornucopia right you want to really just focus on the important things where it looks like prices you know you should be able to kind of tell if price is kind of drawing upwards or drawing downwards you should get an idea of, of where it's trying to go so you don't want to crowd your chart too much with these drawings but anyways this is how you can incorporate your higher time frame inefficiencies, such as one hour, 30 minutes, uh, daily, or even weekly inefficiencies, and have them on your chart. Is you can use these boxes and just go in the text box here, say SIBI one hour. I put it on inside right, such as this. So I know that these are going to be draws on liquidity. And then I also have sell side liquidity and buy side liquidity. Um, as well. So if I see that price is going down through some inefficiencies on a higher time frame, I know it's probably drawing to a liquidity point. And so, uh, for example, during yesterday's or Thursday's big down move, um, you could have had sell side liquidity here marked out. There was also a one hour buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency here that price was drawing towards on a higher time frame. And so, anyways, guys, in this ICT basics video, we learn how we can use our daily one hour, I don't really use the four hour a lot, daily, one hour, 30 minute charts, uh, sometimes even down to a 15 minute. Um, mark these out on a box, as you can see on my screen right now, and then use your lower time frame, such as 10 minutes and below, in order to refine your entries. So in this ICT Basics video, we learn how to incorporate higher time frame draws on liquidity, such as daily, fair value gaps or one hour fair value gaps or 30 minute fair value gaps and how we can incorporate those with lower time frames. Um, so in this video we discussed uh, higher time frame draws on liquidity 30 minutes plus uh, from inefficiencies to liquidity points and how we can incorporate entry mechanisms such as an order block such as a fair value gap such as <clears throat> whatever it might be. We can use the lower time frames to refine our entries for a higher time frame draw on liquidity. So, okay guys, I hope this gives you an idea of how you can incorporate your higher time frame draws on liquidity with your uh, lower time frame refined entries. And that's going to be it for this one.